Howdy folks, it's a tall turtle here and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. We're going to start another bush trip today. Yes, I'm saying another bush trip because we were in the middle of the Sweden bush trip, Discover Sweden, which is down here somewhere. And if you recall, um, we did two legs and then couldn't get credit for it, get checked off to move to the third. So I reflew the legs at one time, didn't let me go to the third third wouldn't check me off so i redid the third leg still won't check me off so this bus trip is bugged because we've done all these other bus trips where we do one leg at a time leave come back and it's fine but i have a suspicion the swedish one once you start it if you leave it it won't check you off so i'm thinking if i start with leg one all over again and then do two and then do three it'll check me off and then do four, then do five without leaving the bush trip. I'm sure it'll work. But I already flew most of it twice. I'm not doing it again. There's 40%. I've done 40% two times. So I'm just going to let that one sit to the side. See if it gets an update with the next sim update or whatever. And then we'll complete it um, another time. So Sweden is going away for now. We are going to start instead the Discover Norway bush trip. If we have the same issue where we cannot continue if we leave the bush trip and come back then we're just going to be done with bush trips until things get updated so even though we do one leg per video i'm doing an experiment with this one to see if it lets us continue once we leave so i'm going to do leg one and then leave it entirely and then we'll do leg two together in the next video and see what happens i'm kind of frustrated of course <laughs> but otherwise i think we've got three left. We've got Germany, the high mountains, um, Norway, which we're going to start now, and then Sweden, which we're going to set aside. And if they fix it, and they have to redo the first couple legs after a fix, I'm fine with that. I'm just not going to redo it to experiment. So here we go. Discover Norway. Let's get all fresh and start with a new bus trip. And here we go. All right, ooh, a seven-hour trip. We'll see how long it really takes, huh? 14 legs, seven hours. At least they're shorter legs, right? They're basic, except for one. They're all less than half an hour. Yeah, there's a two long ones. Anyway, all right, in this magnificent flight tour of Norway, you'll feast your eyes on an incredible range of inspiring, exhilarating sights. You'll fly past massive sheer walled fjords, ranges of glacially carved peaks, and some of the world's greatest feats of architecture, both modern and old, centuries old. You experience these thrilling sights in a sporty Beechcraft Bonanza G36, an ideally suited aircraft for this unforgettable Nordic adventure. And then we don't use the back on track and the routine achievements for this one. Alrighty, Bonanza G36. I'm excited about this. I like this plane a lot. So here we go. Leg one. Let's get going. Alrighty, haven't been in this airplane for so long. Let's review my presets. Everything's pretty much standard. Um, yep. Here we have props in this one, I remember. Alrighty, typical Beechcraft layout. And I did want to see this again. Let's get some pedo heat on here. Some prop de ice. Okie dokie, that's about it. Let's look at the plane from the outside, I guess, since we normally don't do that. There you go, there's a Bonanza, G36. Pops already down too, looks like. Alright, here we go, let's read about what's going on. We do not have a cheater, it looks like. Oh, yes we do. Okay, that's the other thing that happens, right? The first legs, we always have the cheater GPS track. But then when we leave and come back, it's gone. Hmm, Interesting. Anyway, where are we headed in this first trip? 45 minutes from Echo November Golf Mike, which is here, to Golf Kilo, which is only there on the map, but it's 45 minutes for that little bit. Okie dokie. Um, what does that mean? That means we're going to come down here. Where's autopilot? Let's hide that a second, too. Let's get rid of this insert. Can't stand that thing. Oh, uh, we don't really need wind on, but I like to turn it on. In the bush trips, there's not much of a wind usually. All right, here we go. Flight director. We'll use GPS today, so nav. We're going to go up. What's your altitude going to be? Um, we do have some terrain in this first leg, it looks like. Um, so let's go up to 6,000. We can always go higher than that if we need to. We'll do vertical speed. We'll do a nice 700, 800 feet per minute. 
Okay, there we go. Barometer is good. Everything else is good. All right, let's read what we're doing here. First leg, 20 seconds. <laughs> Turn to the northwest and you'll fly past the Royal Palace, the home of the city Norwegian monarch. Okay, which is like right at the end of the runway, apparently. Then after that, for six minutes or so, turn toward the southwest and fly for 18.8 nautical miles to the port city of the Raman, which boasts a number of spectacular buildings and is set amid a dramatic natural setting. All right, I feel like I'm yelling. I really apologize if my microphone is speaking out. I normally talk softly because I normally do this late at night. It's not as late tonight. I'm kind of loud. All righty, so we have the palace, and then we're going to go to a port city after that. Now... Those of you who haven't seen all the bush trips that I've done, we do them different ways, right? Sometimes we hand fly the whole thing manually and have to find where we're going. Other times we have to find where we're going, navigate manually, right? Where we do the headings and the time and everything very particularly. And then we use like heading bug, right? If we can with autopilot. Other times we do all this completely manually. But days like today when we have the GPS, we're just going to let the computer fly it. Why? Because we've proven to ourselves and to each other that we can do it. I'm talking like I'm more than one person. <laughs> I'm not. Anywho, we together have seen that I've done it all the different ways. I can do it manually, I can do it semi-manually, and I can do it with the computer doing it. So today the computer is doing it. All we have to do is worry about altitude. Now because there's some train here, we might have to take over and fly by hand around it. We'll see. Okie dokie, that's it. First set of flaps are already down. We're going to um, get going here. Parking brake off or is it on now? It's on now. Now it's off. And let's get going. Whoa. Holy cow. Is this thing full of fuel? I can't see that far away. It is now. Alrighty. Taking off. I haven't flown this. Last time I flew this, we did London in complete fog. It was super fun. But last time I've done this, brakes have stopped the wheels. I'm pretty sure they had gear. This does have gear. Which means we need to remember to put gear down. Flaps coming in as well. Let's hit autopilot right now because why not? Why not let the computer do it? And then we'll know. Oop, hang on. You want to look out the window? Yeah, we hit autopilot pretty soon. Whatever. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. How y'all doing back there? Wait, where's my behind the look? Where is it? There you are. There you are. How is everybody doing? How you doing? Alrighty, so we're going to let the computer fly us around. Pretty simple. It's not that simple, but it's simpler than doing it manually. Um, our first POI is right away. You can tell because that's where the triangles are. So let's see if we can find this palace. Let's see here. Oh gosh, what a mess. Let's see if we can find the palace. Let's put that away. Let's hop outside and use the... Um, I don't see a palace. Use the, um, drone. There must be a palace there somewhere. Yeah, co-pilot, I know. It's always telling us stuff. I don't see a palace. I'm gonna have to Google it. You'll have to Google it. I don't see a palace back there 20 seconds out. Um. Oh, well. I'm not that worried about it. Alrighty, but we are going to a city, which is POI number two, which is right here, and then other POIs are really close together, looks like. Alright, so we're headed right here for this drama in Port City. So, what does that mean for you if you've ever sat through a bush trip? Well, well I'm sightseeing, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up some sightseeing shots. Are we going to clear that mountain? Yeah, we will. I'm going to set up some sightseeing shots. It cuts down how much you watch, so you don't watch it all 45 minutes of this, but I set it up so you don't miss anything either. So I'm going to do that right now, just make sure everything is okay, make sure everything's out of red, bring back the props a little bit. There we go. Everything should be good. Um, not worried about anything. I will keep an eye on the engine management. You get some sightseeing, and I'll see you at this port city, and then we'll talk about the next POI when we get there. Ooh, look at that little tiny airport. Okie dokie, here we go. Norway, discover Norway. So let's discover it with the drone and some sightseeing. So let's see a little bit.
I'm not breaking any of your sightseeing because we're being followed. Well, where'd it go? From the outside here, if you notice that sightseeing shot. See that airplane back there? Right in the dead center of your screen. We're being followed. They were really close, so... Oh, well. Anyway, since we're here together, we might as well just chit-chat because um, we're almost at our city already because we are hauling. Um, probably don't need to be 6,000 feet up. Whoops, I keep forgetting this airplane has different presets. You normally, normally I talk about how I like to stay close to the ground for all these VFR bush trips. You can see what's going on, but we do have some terrain up ahead, so we got to get our altitude. So let's see how far are we. Actually, we're pretty darn close. So let's zoom in here. And once we get to that port, we will read about the next POI. We're not quite there yet. Why does it say POI 3 is right next to it? But then on here it says POI 3. Hang on, did it skip something? Something got skipped. There we go, that makes sense. Oh wait, did I read about the wrong thing? Wait a second. Oh brother. Okay. This bush trip is all buggy with the things. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, so that introduction stuff was all wrong. I'm sure I put a big caption at the bottom saying it was wrong. So, first of all, we were looking for the Intility Arena takeoff and head for the Arena at Modern Sports Stadium, which we completely missed. Completely missed way back there. Bummer. Well, no. During sightseeing, you may have spotted it. So, never mind. Maybe we didn't miss it. I just didn't point it out. There we go. POI 2, then... Um, let's hide one. Two is the Oslo Opera House. We'll be seeing that in a second. Just to the southwest, you see the Opera House, Norwegian National Opera and Ballet, one of the most striking feats of modern architecture. And then right after that, we'll see the Royal Palace. Right after that. Okay. There we go. And then we're going to go to Drammen. So let's check out the Opera House and the Palace, and then we'll come back in and we'll talk about Drammen, which is further away that's POI 4, so that was not there. It's actually over here somewhere. Okay. Man, that was weird. That happened to be another bus trip, too, where um, it completely started in the middle of a thing. I don't understand. Lots of bugs since Sim Update 6. Is that what the most recent update was? Sim Update 6, I'm pretty sure. Seems to be bugging these older bus trips. Older meaning World Update 5. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, let's hop outside. I'll return it. Let's look for the Opera House and the Palace. See, here's that's the problem. See, we're pretty high up, so it's going to be kind of hard to see um, the Opera House and the Palace. But the reason why we're up high is to look ahead of us. See that train up there? That's why we're so high. Otherwise, we'd be down nice and low, like the nor the Swedish trip. That doesn't work right now. We're down low. Um. Normally you can spot these things because they stand out like a sore thumb because they look cartoonish And maybe that's it right there Maybe no I'm probably here here. I bet it's right there. I will google it and I bet that's opera house See how it looks different. See how it stands out cartoonish compared to everything else See that? Oh, yeah, that has to be because look how cartoonish that is So then if we look over here, we should be able to see a palace that sticks out Um I don't know. Let's see. I don't see anything sticking out yet. I'm sure it's in the shop though. Um, probably down here, right? That looks very palacey. So that's probably the palace. I'm pretty sure it's a palace. Look at the gardens and things. That has to be the palace, yeah. Okie dokie, so there we go. Now we're headed on to the next spot. Let's hop inside. Let's look up. Do I have a window shot in this? Yes, I do. Kind of. Kind of. Um, okay, there we go. Looking back at the palace. So there's a stadium there. Do you see that stadium just about to go behind the pillar? There we go. All right. What are we doing next? Is Drammen. Natural dramatic setting. Okay, six and a half minutes for that, and we already know where it is because we have the cheater on this leg um, right here. So, right there. So when we get there, we know we're at Brahmin. Okie dokie, kind of a dramatic start, but for different reasons. We really need to be this high, that's the question. Wait, wait, whoa, what? No, 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 no. 
no, 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 no. Why did it not capture 6,000 feet? That's why it looks too high. Oh, brother. We also know now we can go down 4,000. So let's um, nose this thing down. Be mindful of the speeds. We don't overspeed. That is so strange. The same autopilot is another aircraft and we don't have any problems. I wonder why it didn't capture. It's blue. That means it should capture it. Well, and down we go. Okay, very dramatic. Hopefully this is all the drama we get, though. I'm hoping that um, we don't have the other drama of it not counting our leg. But whatever. Okay, let's see. We are headed to here. I'm going to manage my speed in my engines and everything. And give you some sightseeing, and I'll see you there. Wish me luck. I might need it after all this chaos. All right, we're reaching Drummond, and um, we're also coming down in altitude, and I'm watching our speed slowly climb up. Let's bring that down a little bit. Come on. All right, hopefully 4,000 will be fine then, because I'm sick of um, <laughs> I'm sick of the altitude thing not working. Otherwise, well, that was actually a nice shot. Otherwise, we're about there. We'll read about the next spot in a moment. But the scenery here, so let's have a talk about scenery. Actually, let's let's hop outside and talk about scenery. So, in some of the bush trips, the scenery, or anywhere in the world, not just bush trips, but anywhere in the world, the scenery looks really nice and awesome. This looks like a satellite image glued onto the simulator, which is, I know that's what it pretty much is. But the resolution and the scale looks kind of off. See what I mean? Um, it looks better here. But normally what you see in the middle of the screen is where it looks everywhere. So I'm not sure why this is so different. Um, you can check any of the other bush trip videos we've done. And you see what I'm talking about? But this looks like a painting. This looks like a painting that was painted on. Um, this looks okay though. Here, this looks fantastic here. I just think it's interesting that um, when they have these push trips, they don't always keep the same type. I know, I know how it all works. I know the different scales and layers and types of data and different types of scenery and satellite stuff they put in the sim. That's why different parts of the world look different. And you can see the line sometimes. I'm just saying because of the bush trip thing, like super specific and focused in, that it will look like that. It looks better here though. I don't know. I just like to comment on stuff like that. I like how that town goes up the hill there. That is awesome. So yeah, this is pretty striking. But we do need to read about our next plot. Splot. See down there, like the sail flat that looks in the middle of your screen. The scenery. Anyway. A little bit of water there. Let's hop inside. Let's see what's happening. Where are we going? Um, we're just past Ramen. So next we're headed to Norslo. Continue for 39 nautical miles to Norslo. Slaw. North Slope, North Slope, hmm. a long slender lake surrounded by lush forest, 13 or 14 minutes, so is it that one, must be that one, it's not that one, no, it's probably that one, um, we're just going so fast, we're almost there, that can't be right, I don't know, I tried looking it up on Google Maps, I can only get the same city with umlauts in Sweden, I can't get it with uh, Oslash in Norway, so I don't know if that's it or not. <laughs> 
Uh, ooh, that's gorgeous, but now we're kind of low. Hang on, hang on. Oh my goodness, this isn't good. Okay, again, it didn't... It didn't capture altitude. Come on, everybody. What is going on here? Climb, climb, climb. What's going on? It has to be the airplane, because I do it the same way in all the planes with the same autopilot system, and it's fine. So I'll just hit the altitude button when we get there. Goodness gracious. If you want it done right, just do it yourself, right? <laughs> is that how it goes? Okay, while we avoid crashing into some scenery here, let's um, read about this. Okay, so I can't find that on um, Google Maps. I can only find the city in Sweden with a similar name. So we'll put that away, I guess. And then further brings us Nature Preserve that comprises over a dozen mountains. It stands 200, 2,100 feet. Okay, so our 4,000 feet will be plenty fine. Um, so then we look for that. All right, I found the North Slow thing. That's this down here. I found it. It's this. So we're headed to that, and then after to that, after that, we're going same direction to the Nature Preserve, which is here, which isn't on your map yet. Okay, got it. So we will keep going this way, wherever the computer takes us, and then we'll have this as well. Oh boy, I strange turbulence. Are we okay? I think we're okay. We are missing some gorgeous scenery, though, because I'm sitting here trying to figure stuff out. This is incredible, isn't it? So I'm going to shut up now, and we're going to fly to the next two places. Let the computer do the work while we just enjoy the scenery. And not crash into anything. And, oh, I think it's time to um, hit Alt right at 4,000 here. And then we'll have some sightseeing. See, it's flashing because it's within range, but it's not going to stop us, I bet. Uh, let's see. Nope, it's still 650, 600, 700. Nope, it is not going to stop us. We'll hit Alt at 4 grand ourselves right there. Boom. What? Alt. The heck? I had it twice once it cleared out and then it saved us kept us there whatever you shouldn't have to hit that if you set your altitude in this blue you go vertical speed and then it'll capture it it always does in all the other airplanes well, whatever get over it turtle all right time for sightseeing because we've done way more scooting around on this trip than i normally do so this is your first first bush trip with us check out the others because this one is not going quite as smoothly from a content creation point of view so i will see you in a little bit, I gotta regroup. I'll see in a little bit. Alright, so we just passed the lake. I can't pronounce. And whoop, oh, these presets. I normally try to keep my presets the same among all the different airplanes, but in this case, the past few or the last three are different because of the fuel. 
but whatever. I might just change that because I know the fuel's down there. Um, the preserve. See where this pink line is right here? That is where Nature Preserve is. So that's where we're headed. When we get there, I'll read about the next POI, which will be number seven. But we're headed here right now. This is where the pink line ends, or is. Goes right through it. So we're done with that one. Um, then we've got these last two things. Just want to jump in. Just let you. Oh gosh, <laughs> let me fix that right now. So this should actually be nine. Let me make that nine. If I go nine, there you go. This should be zero, like that. Make that zero. There we go. So eight is behind us. Nine, zero, and then if we need fuel for whatever, it's just down there. Okay, that's better. Anyway, I just want to point out the water in the nature preserve place we're going over that tall mountain. That was 2,100 feet or something. We're plenty high for all of that. That's it. That's all I had to say. Um, that's it. So I'll see you when we get to that pink line in a couple moments. Alright, so we're flying over the nature preserve right now. I don't know which mountain was the super tall one we're supposed to be looking out for, but it's out there somewhere. Perhaps we're underneath it, I don't know, but um, we're about there. So let's read about the next place it is going to be. Let's see. I guess it's going to be in two minutes we'll turn and see that. Um, but we're about anyway. Breca. Fly south. To the quaint village of Breca, which is set amid forest, open fields, and enchanting lakes. So in the two minutes, we're going to turn, and we're going to go to Breca, wherever Breca might be. Breca is due south in, looks like, right there with those little ponds. So we're going to go to there, we're going to turn and go to there, and then we'll figure out where our airport is. Well, oh, actually, that's really close. We have to be coming down by then, so we'll start coming down in this area, and then we're going to land at Irondale Airport, Irondale Airport, just to the southwest of Breca, so it must be in here somewhere as well. Alrighty, so that's a lot, that's the, gee, the, this video, this video is not going very smoothly, probably because I'm really, really nervous about the second leg and not counting, because what we're going to do after this leg, I'm going to leave the sim, come back, like we normally do for all the other bush trips. And then we're going to see if it counts our second leg. And why are we doing that again, class? Because when we left... Uh, we're going to go back here? I can't. I can go back here. Because when we left... Um, whoops. Nah, I hit the wrong button. Oh, look, hang on. Look at that. Nope, it was working. Anywho. When... What was I saying? Oh, dang it, I was going so well. My only moment of coherency. There we go. Now we're turning towards Brecca. Okay, so. What would I say? Oh, I'm nervous about leg two. Because of all the other bus trips we've done, probably over 100 legs total or more, we'll leave the sim, come back, do a leg. It counts. Leave the sim, come back. We do a leg. It counts. And what was I saying? Class. Why am I nervous? Because in the Sweden trip, we left and came back and does a count. So I'm really nervous about the next leg not counting. That's what's going on. That's why I'm acting so funny. Alrighty, where are we going? Is that a report there? No, we're headed to Golf Kilo, which is a smaller airport, so we won't see it until we zoom in probably. Can we pan down? Where's the pan down button? There it is. We gotta push it first. Then we can pan down. There we go. Pan down. Oh, this is slow technology. I'm looking for the airport, which I don't see. I see other stuff. Only a minute away from there it says, where are you? There it is. It's there. Right? Golf Kilo. Golf Kilo. Okay. So we'll get there eventually. And then we'll land. <laughs> Jeez. 
awkward, but I'm not redoing it. So I'm going to give you some sightseeing until we get to Brucka. There's a village there. No, it isn't. Until I get to Brucka, and then we're going to land. So we're not going to come down quite yet because the autopilot thing. Well, like. Uh, I guess I could do this, where I go vertical speed, nose down, like 200 feet per minute. Just slowly start coming down, bring back throttle so you don't overspeed. And just have to really keep an eye on things very carefully. Alright, I'm going to keep an eye on my speed, give you some sightseeing, and I'll see you in Brecca. And, um, oh, my brain is just mushy right now. I'll see you in a little bit. We should be hitting Brecca pretty soon. Somewhere. And then there's an airport over there. I stopped our descent, so we're going to stay at 3,200 feet, at least for now. It's a little high to land at this small airport, but um, you might just do a circle to land thing. Cause it, isn't gonna come up, it is going to come up on us very quickly. What you're looking out here and out here is the ocean, of course. You're basically heading south. Like if you think of Norway, we started on the east side. We're going down around the south and then all along the western and northwestern coast. Oh, there's the airport. That's what's going on. Okay, so it looks like the track, track is going to put us into the town and then a dog leg to the right. Although that looks pretty close, doesn't it, at this speed? So, do we see an airport yet? Yeah, we should probably start looking for it, huh? Because um, it's closer than it looks. Yeah. Okay, what should we do? Well, let's just trust autopilot for a minute. It says two minutes yet. And then it's really close. Oh man, that is really close. Let's take autopilot off. Let's just do this ourselves. Let's start coming down. So throttles back. So now we descend, yet keep our speed for the most part. Do not forget about gear. We have had that happen in other bus trips. <laughs> where we forget about the gear and we have to redo the leg. Let's not let that happen this time. And um, let's just fly this heading until we see the airport, then we'll dog leg to the right. Let's look out the window while we can and enjoy it. You can see the cutout in front of the wing where they put the power lines. I like noticing things like that. Alrighty, um, we'll keep our speed around here for now. We're descending quite a bit here. Let's see. Runway off to our right. Do you see it? I don't see it yet. I'll point it out as soon as I do. So let's keep altitude until we do see it. So throttles back in. Actually, we'll just nose up to slow down, which will make us also stop descending. We just have to trim for it. Um, let's see here. We're going to have to rely on this GPS because we don't know where we are, don't know where we're going. If we turn now, we should be looking down the nose of the runway here. I think that's it, just behind those trees. Right off the nose, I think. Not totally sure. Not sure at all, but we'll find it. Um, trying to also enjoy the sight as we go here. Oh wait, is that it right there? Oh, that has to be it. That's not what I imagined. Oh yes, it is, of course. Look at all the sand. I didn't even notice that detail. Alright, so here we go. Let's get ready for landing gear down, at least it was dinging at us, and the quaint town is somewhere around here, I apologize, we're not really going to see it, are we, maybe hop outside for a second, do you see anything there, that is a good gorgeous view though, but, is there a plane, oops, I forgot I was using drone, I'm like, why can't I control my plane, because I had drone mode instead of this mode, there we go, that's better, much better, now I can control my aircraft, I don't really see the town. Must be one of those things. 
Anywho, let's fly an airplane for a set of flaps. They're totally going to crash if we don't pay attention. Good grief. Good grief. All right. Keep that runway in sight. Ah, that was a close one. Let's trim back. Final look outside while, while we're on final. And look at that. There's a house there. Scary, though. So many animals. So many high... Wait, I didn't hear what I said. So many um, wild animals. So let's see here. Let's... Let's stay on target here. Time to pay attention. Although this is some of the better scenery we've had in a long time. The ocean out there. Oh my gosh. So gorgeous. Alright, we're not doing very well on our approach. Gonna do because he's screwing around and looking around. Here we go. Let's get back on target. Second set of flaps. I think we have two sets of flaps at least. Yeah, it looks like two. Okay. Alrighty. Stop screwing around. We don't want to have to redo this leg. It's very long. And here we go. It's taking all my willpower not to look around right now. If we had replay mode yet, then we would land and then replay it from different views, but we don't have that luxury yet. So here we go. Ooh, train turbulence really got me there. All right, here we go. Coming down. Came out over those trees. And throttles back. Whoa, what the heck? And let's, <laughs> let's land. There we go. Oh, very nice. There we go. Nose of the down gently. Get back to the middle. And please count my leg. I don't see why I wouldn't. Where's our save icon? There it is. And leg one completed. 51 minutes instead of 43. That's how it rolls. All right, you know the drill. If you want to see leg two, like, subscribe, and you'll know when it comes out, and I'll see you then.